You are watching Riverbend Longbows Outdoors. Hey folks, Ray here, Riverbend Longbows Outdoors, and today we're back in the shop doing a little fun project because it's very cold out. This is a project I've had on the back burner for probably three years, but we're getting ready to put it on the front burner. So what I'm going to do is change the color of this wool sweater. Uh, we do a lot of uh, thrift shopping, uh, thrift store shopping, and we pick up stuff, but this is a wool sweater from Land's End, very high quality, but I don't like the color. So I've always been wanting to change it to the color brown, and uh, so uh, we'll get set up and get started. All right, so what I've got here is a wool sweater that's 85% virgin wool, 15% nylon. And what I've read is you'll want to get a RIT dye. This is the RIT dye. There's other dyes too, but this is for synthetic materials. I, what I've read is wool will take this dye much better than the other dyes, and I'll be using an old canning pot for canning. Um, got that at the thrift store for like two bucks years ago. So it'll be perfect for my stuff. And then a uh, electric range I'll just be using so I can moderate the uh, temperature better. We'll have to bring the water up to about 180, 200 degrees. And then we'll add it all together. It's quite a process, but let's get to it. So the instructions say uh, use a full bottle per two pounds of dry material. This isn't quite probably a pound, so I'll probably end up just using a half a bottle. But what you want to do is you'll need to uh, pre-dampen whatever you're going to dye first before adding it. So the best thing to do is I'll put this in here, fill it up with water, then I know I get the right amount. Then I'll squeeze this all back into there, lay this aside, and we'll get the mixture going. So I'm going to go inside and get that done, and we'll be back. We'll just put that away. I'll be back. Alright, I got my pot filled with my sweater in there, and you're also going to want a towel that's probably not your significant others. <laughs> and I'm going to wring this out, lay it on here, and then we'll bring the water up to temperature. So that's the next step. You're probably also going to want some uh, throwaway gloves, maybe an apron too if you don't want to get some of this splashed on you, and something to stir with. This is quite a process. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, homemade drill to help displace the weight of the pot on top of the uh, range. There. Shut that back in there. Perfect. precarious. We'll get her. All right, kick her up and get her up to temperature. Might want to get a candy thermometer or whatever so you can monitor it once you get up to about a 180 or so then you can know where it's at. It's smoking for some reason. I don't know. We're going to check the temperature. We want about 180, 212 Fahrenheit or 82, 100 Celsius ish. And we're, we're getting there. About 120, so we'll give it a little bit longer. Well, the UPS guy showed up and brought me these I ordered. Um, they're from Night Eyes. The gear ties, they're like a really wicked twist tie basically, but you can get different lengths. But these will be great for camping. Let me get one out, I'll show you. They twist up, you can hang lanterns, your tarp, whatever with them. Gear. Pretty cool. Got the idea off of uh, Xander Bud, 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 Bundick, I can't say his name. You should watch his stuff. Cool. Alright, let's see where we're at. Whew, steamy. Oh yeah, I think we're there. Alright. Alright. Let's rock and roll. 
steamy. All right, remember this is just really hot water, so be careful. Oh yeah, we better add our dye. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with about a half a bottle, give or take. Let's see how it looks. Give that a stir. Oh yeah, she brown. The witch's brew. Might turn purple. I don't know. We'll just get it in there. And now the instructions say to stir consistently for 30 minutes. So we'll see in a bit. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. I think about it, I think my father-in-law gave this to me. He'll understand. Ah. Went ahead and just used the whole bottle. It wasn't quite getting as dark as I liked. So we'll see. Alright, at the clock, I think we're about there. What I'm going to do is, of course, shut this off, unplug it. I'm going to wring out the excess onto the towel, and I'm going to take it in the house. I'm not going to film that part, but I'm just basically going to keep rinsing it until clear water comes out in the bathtub and uh, with just cool water. So, And then later, I'll show you the results. Um, to dry it, I'm just going to uh, lay it out on some towels. Being it's wool, you do not want to put that in the dryer, otherwise you just defeated the whole purpose. <laughs> and uh, let it dry and then we'll check it out so we'll see you in a bit yeah. yeah let the water cool first on the toilet you'll never have to clean the toilet again because you'll never know when it's dirty <laughs> an adventure for both of us I think <laughs> so if you liked it hit the like button share it if you did and we'll talk to you later thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't like and share this and we'll see you next time oh yeah it's nice and warm we'll be sharing more of that soon too now I've got something warm to sit around in the tent